I'm Ty and I'm the founder of Wood Window Rescue and today I'm going to go over the anatomy of a double hung window. So what makes it a double hung? Well first, the reason why it's a double hung is because it has two sashes, double sashes that are both hung, which means they both operate. Which that means that the top sash goes down and the bottom sash goes up. Well then, what's a sash? Well, a sash is a framed piece of glass. And that framed piece of glass has got four components. On the top, on the upper sash, the top component is the upper rail. On the side here, you have styles. And on the bottom, you have the lower on the bottom, you have the upper check rail. On the lower sash, you have roughly the same components. You have the lower check rail, you have the style, and you have the lower rail. Now, most windows that you're going to see in an old house have an OG profile right here, like this one does. Now, these sashes are kept closed by a traditional lock and keep and that's this little lock right here and that lock is really cool because it allows it pulls the window shut to make sure it's tight right here so the air doesn't flow up between the two sashes now why is this important why do windows work this way well back before air conditioning in the turn of the century you needed to get some air circulation to cool down your hot house in the summer and so what that what you did is you would lower your upper sash, and that would pull the hot air out of your home. And then you would raise your lower sash, and that would pull some cool air in. And so it would create a nice breeze in your house. Now, the sashes are held in by a jam. And the jam has a lot of different components. But to start, the first component of a jam is going to be the jam legs. And that's this wood part that's on the outside here, part of the jam frame that holds these two sashes in. As you start from the inside looking out, you've got this wood molding here called a stop. And that stop goes all the way around the perimeter on the inside of the house. And that holds this lower sash in. And then you have the stool here across the bottom. And the stool is that thing in your house where you set little knickknacks. When you open up the window, if you look here, here's your jam leg. Now, this piece of wood here is called the parting bead. And the parting bead is what separates the lower sash from the upper sash. Once it's removed, and it's typically maybe nailed in with a couple of nails, maybe no nails at all, but there's just a wood groove here that goes down the jam leg that that installs into. On the outside, you have your blind stop right here. The blind stop is the part of uh, the jam that holds the upper sash in from falling out into your yard. In the side of the jam leg, in some windows, is a weight access door that can be removed like this so you can reach inside and get the weight. Now, this weight is what counterweights this sash to help it go up and down and stay where it belongs. So you have your weight attached to your rope, and we use a Samson spot cord set inside the wall. That rope then goes all the way up and through to the wheel and the pulley here. So it's just a simple machine, and that's what makes it really easy to repair and take care of. Now I'm going to show a few things on the outside right here. So on the outside, you have a couple of major components. First of all, you have your glazing, which that is what holds the glass in. And this is a traditional putty glazing that you can see right there. And then you have your sill. And your sill is, can, can be composed of one or two different parts. You first have your primary sill, which is typically three quarters of an inch, it sets right there. And then in a lot of houses, you have your sub sill, which is a larger, maybe 
inch and a half or inch and three eighths piece of wood across the bottom. This is always pitched to divert water as it rains. And that right there is the anatomy of a double hung window. Really appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions about what makes up a window or different parts that may be on your window, please leave the comments below. That's it.